Google Analytics is the most common web analytics tool, but most people don't know that there's also a Google Sheets add-on. With this, we can import our analytics data directly into our sheet and display that data with our own custom Glide app. We're going to cover the fundamentals of reporting. We're going to take a look at how to use charts with this data in Glide and learn how to schedule our reports. Before we get started, we need to install the Google Sheets add-on. To install it, we'll visit the add-ons drop-down in any sheet and click Get Add-ons. We'll search for Google Analytics and then click Install. Now we can import analytics data to any Google Sheet. Before we create a report, we need to think about where we'll eventually want to display this data. We have two options. We can create and run our reports in the same spreadsheet as our app, or we can create a separate spreadsheet where we run our reports and then import that data to our main app's spreadsheet. This is probably a better option if we're going to be running many different reports, as each report needs its own sheet. We'll go over how to do this. To create a report, we'll go to Add-ons, Google Analytics, and Create New Report. Here we can name our report and select the account, property, and view that we wish to import from. Next, we need to configure our report. Here we can see metrics, dimensions, and segments. Metrics are the foundations of analytics, so let's just focus on that for now. Metrics are quantitative. In other words, they're something that's countable, like the number of users or an average session duration. For simplicity, let's just choose users as the metric and click Run Report. The Google Analytics add-on will create our Report Configuration tab and add a new report column with the settings that we chose. In here, we have the report name, the view ID, which is the Google Analytics view that we're importing from. We then have the start and end date for our report, the metric we chose, and a default limit to prevent the tool from importing too many rows. If we run this report, it will show us our users for the last 30 days in a new sheet. This is probably the most simple report you can do with Google Analytics, one metric with a date range. But most of the time, reports need to look at dimensions, in addition to metrics, to narrow down what you're actually looking for. In contrast to metrics, dimensions are qualitative. In other words, they're typically attributes that are not incrementable, like the user's country or browser type. An example of a report that uses both dimensions and metrics is Google Analytics Location Report. We have the country dimension listed on the left, and then different metrics to the right. So let's create a second report which looks at monthly active users as the metric and the date as the dimension. Now we get a report that has multiple rows, one for each date over the last 30 days. To display this data in a chart in Glide, we need to have the range of data at the top of our sheet with no empty rows above the header row. Because Google Analytics creates a summary at the top of every report, we need to transpose this data into a new sheet. We're going to be using this spreadsheet for the basis of our app, so we can just use array formula to copy the range into a new sheet. If, however, we use a separate Google Sheet for our reports, we can use import range to do this. We have a separate video on this function. We'll create a new sheet and call it MAU for short. In the first cell, we'll write the array formula function and choose the range of cells that we want to import. In Glide, we'll generate an app from our Google Sheet and make sure that we have an empty details screen. Next, we'll add a chart component and choose the bar chart. Our dimension is dates, and our metric is the number of monthly active users, so we'll add this as the quantity. Now our chart shows monthly active users by date. In this example, the bars are quite thin because we have 30 values that we're displaying. Let's change our report settings to only show the last 15 days and run the report again. This is a small example of a tweak that you can make to the report, but there are many other aspects to working with the Google Analytics add-on that you can learn about by following the link in the report configuration.
The last thing that we need to do is schedule our report to run every night, so the data always stays up to date. We'll head to the add-on and click on Schedule Reports. Here we can schedule our report to run every day at a certain time. This will work for all reports in our Google Sheet. One thing to bear in mind is that for this data to automatically update in your app, your app needs to have background refresh enabled, so that Glide picks up the changes that the add-on makes. There are many other ways that you might want to display your data in your app. You could use list layouts and add filters and sorting. You could dig deeper into each row on a detail screen. And there's also the potential to use Glide's math and template columns to format your data in useful ways. Although we've only made one chart, you now have the essentials of how to create and run reports in Google Sheets to create your own custom analytics app with Glide.